I started boating uh, when I was, well, very young, probably three, four years old. And by the time I was five or six, I had been handed the helm of a 28-foot Chris Craft. Uh, it was my grandfather's boat. Uh, it was a 1959 Chris Craft Constellation. Uh, just a beautiful vessel. And I drove that thing all over the place uh, on Sebago Lake in Maine, where I grew up, summer after summer. And when I became a teenager, I ended up having my own rowboat, which I loved. Uh, and my family always had a boat. I've been driving boats my entire life. Uh, and then as I grew and uh, I, I just somehow fell out of boating for a number of years, uh, raised children, uh, had all the fun that goes with that. And then a few years ago, Stacy and I found ourselves invited onto a friend's yacht for an afternoon. And she looked at me and said, we should have one of these. And I said, you're right. <laughs> uh, so we ended up buying our first boat on Sebago Lake in Maine and spent three summers just enjoying the heck out of it. Uh, and at the end of three seasons, we looked at each other again and said, we need to do this all the time. And so we, we put ourselves to work trying to figure out how to do that. We bought a, a diesel vessel in North Carolina and we've been cruising ever since. We cruised the Great Loop, uh, which took us a year. Uh, and we've been going up and down the coast of the, the east coast of the United States pretty much ever since. One of our favorite spots is the spot we're in right now. This is, we are in Havre de Grace. This is uh, uh, a beautiful marina. It's a city yacht basin. And we spent the month of September here in uh, 2022 and just fell in love with the place. Uh, and I got to meet Jeff, Captain Jeff, uh, while we were here. We got a targeted ad on social media when we were coming across the bay to Haver de Grace. And I've never heard of this. This is a new one by me. So I downloaded Argo while on the water and set up an account. I got an email from Captain Jeff, which part of the, uh, uh, the setup, you get emails from Captain Jeff. And I responded to one of them. Jeff wrote back. It, I mean, the, the first email was automated. I didn't know it was automated. It felt very natural. But the second email was actually Jeff and I talking to each other. And uh, it, we forged a friendship as I was cruising across the bay to Jeff's hometown. Uh, and within two days, we were meeting. and. and uh, he, he came aboard the boat and, and turned us into ambassadors for Argo on the spot. <laughs> He's very disarming, and I, I think uh, for a lot of people that's a, a very nice feature. You know, you, you don't want the hard sell. You don't want to deal with somebody who's only looking out for themselves, and, and Jeff's not that guy. He, he's really just a gentleman, and he happens to have created a, a wonderful app for boating that uh, we use all the time.